the Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the dark spot. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Greetings.
No, it is gone. How do you do? Greetings. Greetings. Charmed, I'm sure. Greetings. Ah, my spell! Greetings. How do you do? Right, casting. Focus. Coming through. Off I go. Greetings. This weapon does nothing.
Greetings. 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 On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. The Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. ...to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinter Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. Know this, apprentice. If you fail, we Templars will perform our duty. You will die. This is Lyrium, 
the very essence of magic, and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you, and remember the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The Apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... well... Mouse. It's fuzzy, that time before. They wake you up in the middle of the night and drag you to the harrowing chamber. And then... The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim, and you don't have much time before you end up the same. There's something here, contained, just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you, a tease for the creatures of the Fade. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago. But you, you may have a way out. A dangerous... It is dangerous to be out in the open like this. Not that hiding helps much in the Fade. I'm ready if you are. That is where the test will take place. 
The creature can be anywhere, but it manifests there. thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. Indeed. The choice and the fault lies with the mages who sent you here. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Of course, you are not the first mortal to seek my aid. I am not here to assist you, however. My purpose is to seek perfection, creating the ultimate weapon for the pursuit of valor. Without a doubt, in this realm everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. As you wish, mortal. We battle until I am convinced you are strong enough to defeat your demon. If you do not convince me, I will slay you. Are these rules understood? Our duel begins now. Fight with valor! Enough. Your strength is sufficient to the task. The staff is yours. May you find glory in all your achievements, mortal. It is dangerous to be out in the open like this. Not that hiding helps much in the Fade. I'm ready if you are. Greetings. Can we not drive these animals off? As you say, very well. Of course. Yes. Very well, of course. going to help us. We should go. Settle. 
The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. Help you. <laughs> Nothing can help you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, motto. Oh, I tire of you already. You have a very nice staff. Why do you need me? Go. Use your weapon, since you have earned it. Be valorous. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? We? I have faced more in this place than you can imagine. Fear is just one more thing. But you are right. Hiding doesn't help. I'm sorry, it's the Fade. It changes you. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear. If you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Hmm? I told you he wasn't going to help us. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Truly? Oh. Well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? and proven yourself an amusing distraction. So, I shall teach you my form. Now, listen carefully. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. 
peace. Close enough. Go then, man. Defeat your demon, or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. Hmm. What's that? Some new kind of beetle? I'm ready if you are. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. Oh, I shall. So this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. arrangement. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Of course, as you said. Came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to, but I never really thought any of you were worthy. What? They were not as promising as you. It was a long time ago. Uh, I don't remember their names. I don't even remember my own name. It's the Fade, and the Templars killing me, like they tried with you. You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. No, no, no. It must be your choice. Quickly now. The Templars are going to kill you. Can't you feel the sword at your neck? They believe all magic evil. The Fade evil. Once you are here, you be what they... 
they fear. What? Yes, of course. I mean, I think I was. Isn't that enough? It should be enough. For you? Maybe they are right about you. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. Keep your wits about you, mages. True tests never end. Say something, please. It's me, Jowan. Calm down. Just try to relax. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? There must be something more, or they'd tell the apprentices what's involved. I know I'm not supposed to know, but we're friends. Just a little hint, and I'll stop asking, I promise. Really? That's it? That makes sense. They want to see if you can resist the demon abomination. And now you get to move to the nice mages' quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here, and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. I've been ready for a long time. I'm afraid they don't want me to take the test. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. They might not, but the Rite of Tranquility is just as bad, maybe worse. You've seen the Tranquil around the tower, like Owain who runs the stockroom. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice, his eyes are lifeless. He's been made tranquil. I don't know how they do it exactly, but you're cut off from the Fade. It takes away your magic abilities, along with your dreams and emotions. Apprentices can ask to be made tranquil if they fear the harrowing, but the Circle also forces tranquility on those they feel are weak. And sometimes they force it upon apprentices they think might be too dangerous as mages. I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Did you hear anything? Is he all right? Is he awake? Why do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. That Templar, Cullen, said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. He must be so talented. Someone sounds jealous. I just know I'll be terrified when my time comes, like Wendell was. He'd throw up every day for the next week just thinking about it. Jowan's been acting weird all day. Have you seen him?
must control the fire with your will. Keep the flames steady. We don't want it sputtering and leaping about. That's what causes most of the injuries. Injuries? But... 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 Steady. Ah, oh, congratulations on your harrowing. Do any of you remember what the Chantry says about magic? Magic must serve man, and not rule over him. Very good. And what do you think that means? Concentrate, hold the sheep. <laughs> if I had put all my power behind that spell, you would have been rid of it. I am not what you Fear is your enemy. It is a weakness that can be exploited. If you face a demon with your will wavering, it will consume you. Is that the problem? Congratulations on your test. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? The Stockroom is not a shop. Your mentor should have clarified this. The Stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? I voluntarily submitted to the Rite of Tranquility. I was unwilling to undergo the harrowing. I find this state agreeable. I see the world with clarity. I remember the days when my mind was filled with inconvenient and seething emotions. Now things are simple. Very well. Goodbye. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wyn, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Ah, if it isn't our new brother in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is he. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then... Where was I? Oh, yes. This is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. There is something else, but I wanted you to meet Duncan first. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. With the Darkspawn invading, we need all the help we can get, especially from the Circle. Of course not. I wished to congratulate you on a successful end to last night's ordeal. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the Circle of Magi. I'm sorry, what is this phylactery? 
Blood is taken from all apprentices when they first come to the tower, and is preserved in special vials. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. It goes without saying that you shall discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the rite. Now then, take your time to rest, or study in the library. The day is yours. Not yet. Remember, the tower's walls protect us as much as they protect others from us. I waters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Thank you for escorting me. I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? I need to talk to you. We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. I've been... Troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please. We should be safe here. A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. So you can see why we wish to keep it a secret. Lily's been given to the Chantry. She's not allowed to have relations with men. If anyone finds out, we'll both be in trouble. I wish that was the only thing I needed to talk about. Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily. All gone. They'll extinguish my humanity. I'll just be a husk, breathing and existing, but not truly living. I saw the document on Gregor's table. It authorized the right on Jowin, and Irving had signed it. There's a rumor about me. People think I'm a blood mage. They think that making me a circle mage will endanger everyone. Of course not, but it's not safe here for me anymore. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. 
We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. You're... You're just walking away? It's all right, Chowan. There's always a way. We must have faith. I understand your reluctance, and I can only beg you won't violate our trust. Our lives depend on your silence. Pretend we never spoke. And if you can find it in your heart, wish us luck and pray for us. Yes? That leads to the Circle's cavern storerooms. There are caves running through the rock that the Circle is built upon. But of course, you know this. Uh, no, uh, I, I can't let anyone in there just now. <sighs> there are just things in there that I would prefer to keep safe. No, of course not. I just have... I. I am in the midst of stock-taking, checking inventory, and I, I can't let anyone in there in case they m mess things up. Yes. Because I am taking a break. I hate the musty smell of caves, and I, uh... Ugh. Look, I'll tell you the truth. Just keep it to yourself. There is an infestation of spiders in the caves. I don't know how they got in there, but it's probably my fault. I was promoted to senior enchanter less than a fortnight ago, and I don't want anyone to find out. They'll think I'm incompetent. I could use some, I'm sure. I've been too busy with my new duties. I haven't been able to deal with the spiders. If you cleared them out for me, I would owe you a favor. A big one. Wonderful. Here is the key. Oh, and be careful in there. I'd really like to keep the damage done to the Circle's property to a minimum. I have done it. What strange beasts! It will be done. As you say, very well.
since we've stopped. What strange It cannot be done. You're back! Are the spiders gone? Really? Oh, that's wonderful. You've saved my hide, I'm sure. And I owe you a favor, so if you need anything, I'll be here. Exactly. I'll be here, keeping the crawlies away.
Ah, there you are. I ran into Duncan. You seemed to make a good impression. He was pleased to have met you. You should speak to him more if you get the chance. He's a wise and learned man. Now, you haven't seen your friend Jowen since this morning, have you? I wanted to know if he was feeling all right. He, he seemed nervous when I spoke to him. He avoided my gaze and seemed ready to bolt. You wouldn't know what brought about this behavior, would you? Well, I'm here now. Tell me what this is about. And I presume his lover Lily told him about this. Yes, I've known for some time. Now, I know Jowen discussed something with you today. What did he say? I could simply report Jowen to the Templars, but Lily has also broken her vows and must face like consequences. For this, we need irrefutable proof of her crime. The Chantry will stand behind her, claiming she has been framed or is in the thrall of a blood mage. There must be no doubt in their minds that she helped him voluntarily. Tell Jowen and Lily you will aid them. Help them enter the repository. If that is what they intend, we will catch them red-handed. No one will be able to dispute the severity of their crimes. Go. Convince them you will risk all for their cause. I will be outside the repository with a contingent of Templars. Let them see the mischief into which their initiate led our student. Perform well, and your dedication will be rewarded. If you're not going to help, leave me alone. Forgive Jowen. He can be surly. But why have you returned? Please say you've changed your mind. Thank you. We will never forget this. I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? We have no choice. We cannot get our hands on both keys. I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stockroom. But Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. We should stay here. One mage at the stockroom will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. Good luck. Our prayers go with you. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Rods of fire serve many purposes. Why do you wish to acquire this particular item? Here is the form, Request for Rod of Fire. Have it signed and dated by a senior enchanter. I will release a rod to you once I have the signed form. Thank you. Oh, uh, hello. 
I don't believe we've met. Are you new to the circle? What's this? A request form from the stockroom? Rod of fire? I remember when the junior mages I mentored asked for some of those. Turns out they were burning holes in each other's trousers. One boy burned peepholes into the female apprentice's dormitory. <laughs> you're not involved in any such rubbish, are you? No, of course you're not. Look at you. <laughs> so angelic. Well, I won't ask why you'd need it. Tower's too boring lately. Tell you what. I'll put my name on this form, like so, and if you get the chance, burn a big hole in the seat of the trousers of the Templar that patrols the library. Do that for old sweetie, won't you? Bastard's always given me the stink eye. You'll be on your way now. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. Everything look... Here is the rod you request. I hate waiting. It makes me nervous. That was quick! To the repository, then. The first enchanter said not to let anyone through this door, and I don't question my orders. I'm so nervous things will go wrong. Lily and I will get married somewhere. Away from the circle and its rules. Perhaps on the outskirts of Ferelden. Or in Orlais. Just far from here. We'll live a quiet life. Away from magic. Maybe we can buy a farm one day. Well, let's just... Chantry would do something before it came to that. Will they?
Greetings. I'm glad your harrowing went well. You must be busy. Perhaps we can talk another time. How the fuck am I supposed to get to the repository? I guess I was going the right way the first time to the fucking repository. Shit. Chantry calls this entrance the Victim's Door. It is built of 277 blanks, one for each original Templar. First with magic pose. The doors can be opened only by a Templar and a mage entering together. The Chantry provides the password which primes the ward, and the mage touches it with mana to release it. The ward only responds to the touch of one who has been through the harrowing. First the password. Ward of the Maker, Tears of the Fade. The password only primes the door. Now it must feel the touch of mana. Any spell will do, but hurry! the rod with you. Mount the locks off. Later. If you haven't noticed, we're not out for a excuse me. Sorry, guys. Woods here. Give it to me. I'll do it. Lily, something's not right. I can't cast spells here. Nothing works. These wards carved into the stone. This must be the Templar's work. They negate any magic cast within this area. 
I should have guessed. Why would Gregor and Irving use simple keys for such a door? Because magical keys don't work. How do you keep mages away from something? Make their powers completely worthless. That's it then. We're finished. We can't get in. I don't know. Do you think it's another way in? That door probably leads to another part of the repository. What are the chances of there being another entrance? No. I'll take any chance I can get. We can't get into the chamber the way we planned, but we're not about to give up. We can see where this door leads, but I don't think it'll be easy. Let... I'm not giving up. We've come too far. More foes approach! Of course. As you say. Yes, it will be done. Very well. As you say. More foes approach! Enemies ahead! Say very well. It will be done. Yes. To get out of here. Yeah. These things are. What strange beasts!
nervous things will go wrong. What's that supposed to mean? need another way into the phylactery chamber. Let's explore the repository. What's going on, everybody? If you guys are into nerd and geek pop culture, you can check us out on scifitology.com. S Y. It FYTOLOGY dot com man. We got a lot of reviews and podcasts going on about the uh, Marvel DC TV universe and Doctor Who and all that good stuff. Y'all can check that out. Yes, it will very well. As you said. Yes. As you said, it will be done very well. need another way into the phylactery chamber. Let's explore the repository. What do you think this is? Why does the Circle keep so many Taventa artifacts in storage? It's history, Lily. And it's fascinating. I've seen pictures of things like this. I bet we could use this to break into the phylactery chamber. See where the mortar might be decaying behind that bookcase? Let's take a closer look. There's something odd about that statue. Greetings. Make us breath! Did it just say something? I am the essence and spirit of Eleni Zenovia, once consort and advisor to Archon Valerius. 
prophecy, what? my crime. Cursed the fall of my lord's house. Forever shall you stand on the threshold of my... But my lord found... A Deventa statue! Don't listen to it. The Deventa lords dabbled in many forbidden arts. This is a wicked thing. Come on, Jowen. It should be pretty easy to get this out of the way. If we work to now we just need to find a way to get through this wall. Use this. This is the f chamber. It we must find Jalen's phylactery quickly. It shouldn't be hard to find. That's my phylactery! You found it! I can't believe this tiny vial stands between me and freedom. So fragile. So easy just to be rid of it. To end its hold over me. And I am free. I do not want to stay here, I'm up. We did it! I can't believe it! Thank you. We could never have... So what you said was true. An initiate conspiring with a blood mage. I'm disappointed, Lily. She seems shocked, but fully in control of her own mind. Not a thrall of the blood mage, then. You are right, Irving. The initiate has betrayed us. The Chantry will not let this go unpunished. And this one. Newly a mage and already flouting the rules of the Circle. It's not his fault. This was my idea. He is here under my orders, Gregor. I take full responsibility for his actions. Enough! As Knight Commander of the Templars here assembled, I sentence this blood mage to death. And this initiate has scorned the Chantry and her vows. Take her to Aenar. The Major's prison. No. Please, no. Not there. No! I won't let you touch her! By the Maker of Blood Magic. How could you? You said you never... I, admit, I I dabbled. I thought it would make me a better mage. Blood Magic is evil, Jowen. It corrupts people, changes them. I'm going to give it up. All magic. I just want to be with you, Lily. Please, come with me. I trusted you. I was ready to sacrifice everything for you. I don't know who you are, Blood Mage. Stay away from me. 
Well... Are you all right? Where's Gregor? I knew it. Blood magic. But to overcome so many, I never thought him capable of such power. None of us expected this. Are you all right, Gregor? As good as can be expected, given the circumstances. If you had let me act sooner, this would not have happened. Now we have a blood mage on the loose and no way to track him down. Where is the girl? I... I am here, sir. You helped a blood mage. Look at all he's hurt. Save your breath. I can speak for myself. Night Commander, I... I was wrong. I was accomplice to a... a blood mage. I will accept whatever punishment you see fit. Even... even Aenar. Get her out of my sight! And you. You were in a repository full of magics that are locked away for a reason. Did you take anything important from the repository? Some honesty, at last. But your antics have made a mockery of this circle! What are we to do with you? As I said, he was working under my orders. And this improves the situation? The phylactery chamber is forbidden to all save you and me! I had my reasons. You're not all-knowing, Irving. You don't know how much influence the Blood Mage might have had. How are we to deal with this? Knight Commander, if I may, I'm not only looking for mages to join the King's army, I'm also recruiting for the Grey Wardens. Irving spoke highly of this mage, and I would like him to join the Warden ranks. What? You've promised him a new Grey Warden? He has served the Circle well. He would make an excellent Grey Warden. We look for dedication in our recruits. Fighting the Darkspawn requires such dedication, often at the expense of all else. I object. You say he operated under your instructions, Irving. But I do not trust him. I must investigate this issue, and I will not release this mage to the Grey Warden. Gregor, mages are needed. This mage is needed. Worse things plague this world than blood mages. You know that. I take this young mage under my wing and bear all responsibility for his actions. This mage does not deserve a place in the Order. Why? Do we not reward service? This mage has served the Circle well. You have an opportunity few even dream of. Do not squander it. Yes. Be proud, child. You are luckier than you know. Come. Your new life awaits. Alright, guys. Uh, I'm gonna let this save right quick, and I'll be back on later. Either back on this or playing Watch Dogs. Love playing the we will games be traveling with free south games. through the hinterlands to the um, ruin of Ostagar on the like edges of the before, Wilds. You can the always Devinter check Imperium out built Ostagar uh, long ago to prevent the Wilds from invading the Northern Lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe than that forest. Check out the podcast. This podcast is talking about little things. We have episodes of Game Share that will be up Monday. We're covering everything for E3. Here is where uh, the bulk of the horde would show us. There are only a few Marvel great television shows. We got uh, Whogasm covering Doctor Who. Come check us out. This Come rock with us. Also check us out over on Facebook. SciFiTology.com. The order SciFiTology. Uh, we have big, will big fall. fun, big plans, oh, things going, game it. returns, everything King else Caleb. jumping off. So y'all gotta do, I didn't expect gotta do is, a, come holler at a us, royal man. welcome. Mess with us. I was and beginning always, to worry you'd miss all the fun. I'm always streaming on Beam and Not Twitch. Not if I could help it. Uh, Twitch.tv. Then I'll have a mighty Duncan at my side Indy. in battle after all. And then, Glorious. of course, young Indy NZ. The other wardens on, told me you'd found uh, a promising recruit. I take so it this is he. So make sure you check in, check us out. Allow uh, me to introduce you, you guys. All right. There's no need to be so full.